Summer weather helped the United States corn crop get off to a good start this year in the Corn Belt, but some farmers in the southern U.S. who dealt with a wet spring continue to see wetter than average conditions. Our weather has been uh, really wet. We've, uh, the entire 2015 year so far, we've had uh, above average rainfall, actually had records amounts of rainfall during uh, April and May this year. Chad caught a bit of a break during pollination with some dry weather in his region. Corn pollinates better in dry weather, so that's a positive step for yields. Well, we're in pollination right now. I think our pollination season has gone pretty well so far. We've, we've had some periods of dry weather where the corn has been able to pollinate, so we're, we're hoping for uh, good conditions. Another thing that helps farmers achieve the highest possible yields is technology. After all, technology is important in many industries, and agriculture is no different. For example, during the times of year when it's critical to get the crop planted or field work done quickly, Iowa farmer Mark Heckman said GPS technology with auto steer helps farmers get more done in a day. But GPS technology means a lot more than auto steer. Today with GPS and, and the number of acres that you have to cover, and the number of acres that are part of an operation, you're able to get a big picture of everything in a simple digital format. It helps for the next year in evaluating the crops, hybrid selection, making sure that you're putting the right hybrid in the right type of ground. If you overlay your maps over, over top of soil maps, over top of tile grids that are out there, you can see what's working and what's not working, and you can help improve your operation through the use of the GPS. Seeds bred using biotechnology, or genetically modified crops, are another technology that helps farmers and boosts yields, according to Arlington, Iowa farmer Mark Recker. GMO has been um, unbelievably beneficial for us since this advent, um, and it basically took off right after I began farming. Um, we're using less pesticides, and um, it's lowering our cost. We're using uh, Roundup Ready, BT resistant corn, and that's been beneficial um, because our yields have gone up because of that, because we have to, because it protects that plant from insects, and also we're use, able to use less chemicals for weed control. So and new products keep coming down the line, new traits keep coming down the line that offer more benefits to us, not only us, but also the consumers down the line. When technology, farm management, and weather all come together, the result is an outstanding crop. In Minnesota this year, farmers saw some early stress with cool weather, but the crop took off when it warmed up. Here's a northern Minnesota farmer giving us a report on his growing season. This is the uh, uh, corn was planted the last week of April. It's been an interesting year as it usually is around here with, uh, with weather. Uh, as you know, corn is a tropical crop and this is not a very tropical area. So it took about two months for this corn to get to 18 inches tall. So it was under a lot of stress. We had some freezing nights, uh, a little bit of hail, uh, rain, a lot of challenges, and then in the next two weeks it was up over my head. But overall the crop in Minnesota looks exceptional. I think we're probably headed for a record crop, and this area certainly, uh, we're going to have a good crop here. And that's true for most areas in the United States, as the U.S. Department of Agriculture in September estimated this year's crop at 13.6 billion bushels, or 345 million tons, about 4% less than last year. And with a lot of corn on its way and prices lower, opportunities exist for global buyers. But it is a tremendous buying opportunity for customers certainly who are looking for, for uh, nice buys on any products that are going to be exported. This is certainly a good time to be in the market.